G'day mates, I'm Jose, I'm your Among Us specialist today, and first off we're going to have a guide of Polis, so, you know, Polis is one of the, uh, well, most played maps, it's generally more noob friendly a map, given that it has a few, you know, extra things to it, so we'll get you a quick map up really, really quickly, and as you can see, here is Polis, the entire map of Polis, and with my lovely camera covering up specimen, so we're going to go take a big tour around you know, Polis all together. So you can take around you know, all of Polis, you know, all the event locations and stuff like that. And as you can see here, the red lines to the left of, you know, to the upper left of me are, are where all the events are connected. So in this map of Polis, there are three classes of events, mainly being tree room, electric, and just outside electric. Then there's outside comms, office, and storage. And last but not least, there's the two vents outside water wheels and inside admin towards outside lab and in the lavatories and you know those are all the venting spots so far but we'll cover those more in the imposter tips but let's just get a look at the map so as we can see here as we've got my character here already loaded in so pretty much you start here in the dropship and we'll get introduced to one of the common tasks right away which is keys and I'll just do keys quite quickly and also there's another task that's not common which is the uh, galaxy trail so now we move down towards uh storage shed storage shed has one task which is to refuel the canisters basically you refuel this and you go le right to left this is one of the common kill spots for imposters but we'll go through that later in the tips and then here is also a weather note as well and that connects back into laboratory what we do later so next up we're going to go to electrics and there are three crises that you can call on this map it's electrics communications and seismic and as you can see here, this is the fuse box. And as you can hear the lightning crackle behind me, this is where you would fix the lights. Also up here, there's a download button here. So if you see an imposter going to the upload and he hasn't touched one of these, then you can call him out. And up there is the left reactor for seismic. And in here is one of the uh, things that you can use to monitor people being cameras. So you can use here to monitor cameras. You can see dummy one. And basically it covers just below the left entrance of office, left entrance of lab, top left of office, top right of office, and last but not least, the entrance to electrical and also the entrance to O2. Now that can be used a lot to try to gauge where people are and, you know, where people are coming from. And also can indicate, you know, if an imposter is trying to run away from the body, you can run in the same direction and basically out the imposter. In one of my games, I did exactly that. However, you gotta be careful as there's a vent here. And if anyone sees the cameras are on, the imposters may vent in and come and kill you and vent out. Now, next up, we're going to go down to O2. O2 have got multiple tasks here. They've got another wires here. If you still got wires, they've got trash shoot. Um, they've got download and tree. If you got those, and they've got O2 as well. This is another little common place for imposters to kill people. And last but not least, there's water wheels and there's uh, the water bottle as well. Water bottle is a two-part task. We have to go back to office. There's also another weather node down here as well. And once you've done that, you have to go back to laboratory to tick it off. Now... There's also another event out here. This one links to the one in tree, uh, not, not tree room, the one in office and the one in storage shed. So be aware of that. Um, there's also Wi-Fi and upload. So if someone's doing the upload without doing the download, you can probably call them out as imposter. And then the Wi-Fi is just a set and forget for 60 seconds. Now it's also a download here and weapons. Um, basically you can download like this, just in case you guys are wondering. So you stay um, you know, visible to people outside. If you do like this, it's a bit harder because you know they can pin you in here. Weapons is also one of those areas where you can get killed quite easily and people not notice for a bit. Same with comms, but we'll talk more about that in the poster section. Now, we'll go through here. There's the last water wheels here, and there's another node down here, and also another little hole there as well. Now, we're going to go into office itself. This is where you'll spawn after every meeting, and this is where the water part for the second part is here. And every meeting, you'll be here in this area, and you'll start from here. Now, another area where you can monitor people is the... Admin table, the admin table's in a little hidden area, and it's not exactly safe compared to the other maps of being Mirror and Skeld, where the admin table's in full view. You can easily get killed in admin table, and people may not notice, and also there's a little gimmick here with the DVD sun background. There's also another little hole here, and, you know, that's what we'll do there. Now, the two other common tasks, other than keys, is boarding pass and swipe card. So just pay attention to what the, uh, common task is and there's also the third thing you can use to monitor people which is vitals and you can tell who's dead and who's alive and if you know someone's dead you can go out and search for them in combination to admin table but just watch out though because some imposters 
do go through here and make sure that no one's you know monitoring admin or anything like that after that there's uh there's the recording temperature and also there's the elusive lava monster which comes here according to uh rifkin base trade tv says there's a lava monster comes here when the lights are off it's kind of like the loch ness monster now overall there's another vent here which goes into the lavatory it's the lavatory cluster as i call it and last but not least another weather note there's also a rock behind here you can actually kill people behind this rock and they may not notice it so don't go close to this rock when you're going down the vitals okay make sure your corpse is indeed visible so next up we're going to go to another area this is right reactor and also another weather note here as well and also here's the area where you you know fill up the fuel cans and you go to the right of the ship and the left of the ship down here so as you can see there another refuel task as well now i'm going to go to laboratory laboratory is another spot where people can get killed pretty easy especially this area where the drill is drill is just a little taparoo and there you go and we might as well you know get the uh no task done while we're here as well I completely forgot about it but the no task is pretty different you know just do that it's like kind of like an operation kind of thing we're just you know guiding a pin and needle through and you know you tick it off here there's also record your temperature as well which basically you see the reading and you just basically press down until it's done funnily enough you know with a little tip about this kind of task as well you can just hold it down to hit the temperature you don't actually have to like get it exact now next up is Catelescope. There's a lot of tasks to do in labs and you just have to find the planet it corresponds to. This one's another set and forget. Basically start it and forget. And then there's MedScan. As most other maps have a MedScan that you can tell who's legit and who's not with MedScan. Um, in most games, there's, you know, uh, I think it's three, two long tasks and five short tasks. If you've got MedScan, you probably want to do it with another person so they can check you queuing it. Most games do not have visual tasks on. So you want to like make sure you find someone to cure it with or at least watch you and generally a bit of strategy is you don't reveal the med scan unless you absolutely have to because otherwise you just put a giant target on your back as imposters so here's more wires here as well it's probably one of the harder wires here because an imposter can definitely easily kill you and get out without anyone knowing because this is a laboratory area and next up we're going to go to specimen specimen is kind of known as uh death holes but it's not really the most common spot to die in on this map. The most common spot to die in is actually storage shed. So here is specimen. There's multiple tasks here. There's download. There's uh, basically, you know, put things into boxes, like sort out like this. So bang, bang, bang. Gotta be careful here because you can accidentally click outside the ASCII and you have to reset and do it again. There's also summon says and everyone, like everyone's least favorite task, summon says. And it's probably the most stressful task along with download in specimen because you can't see anyone around you and... You potentially can get killed here as well. This is probably one of the easier task manifolds where you just do this. Like, you know, just put the numbers of one, one, 1 to 10. And most people definitely, definitely enjoy that task. It's a lot easier than most things. And then after that, get our specimen. It joins up at the bottom of admin. And basically, most players have a little circuit like this where, like, they will plan to go certain places. Like, for example, like, they do the laboratory task, go down to specimen, go on the admin, check admin, then check vitals. So a little circuit there and then next round it may go around to electrical security and then down into o2 as well now let's get the map back up here quite quickly now the map as you can see here you can see all the vent positions stuff like that I explained earlier please keep those in mind as just in case someone goes oh i was in admin just be aware they could vent up and kill in labs the bodies in labs you just never see it coming and you know just be aware of it on polls in general now the most common kill spot is in the middle cluster. So you can see the top right triangle in storage shed is the most common cluster because you can actually align your pathing as well. But overall, let's just get back to the game to give you guys an idea of where all the tasks are at. So we did a few tasks and this is basically where all the tasks are at, as you guys can see here. So up here is the boarding, is the keys and the galaxy ship. That's the wire, that's a download. That's the thing's first wires. There's O2 tasks here. There's canisters, uh, water, water wheels. And like, there's a lot of stuff essentially everywhere. Um, when you first like get out of the drop ship, you want to go to an area where most of your tasks are. And as a crewmate, I would say number one thing area is to avoid storage shed, okay? Because what most imposters do, and I'll show you what I've done before, is I'll turn on imposter here as well. But what most imposters do is they basically pretend to go down here, okay? So this is what they do, okay? So I've done this before as well, like I'll show you. So basically... Most imposters will go down to office like this. They see someone go to storage shed because they got better vision. 
and then basically they turn off lights and when they turn off lights they catch you here bang straight into the vent goes back to office and they'll be like okay i was in office the entire time because their pathing will match up because normally if they're going down they'll be going through here and of course you would be inside office so that's you know one little tip for you know newer players is to kind of avoid storage shed at the start of the round you want to do those you know things later because it's a big big risk if you get caught anyways guys if you guys found these little tips helpful and this is just a basic guide to the map polis feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel you can also watch me live as well when i play among us wow or anything like that below and I hope you guys enjoy this little guide peace out guys i'm jose and i was your guide for this video